Good morning guys and happy Tuesday. Um, I have put makeup on for the first time since Thursday, uh, mostly because I'm very tired and I don't want to scare you but also we do video calls where I work so you know I can get away with having pyjama bottoms on but my face looks scary. Um, I've been awake it's just after half past three. I'm not normally, normally, John's gone to work, by the way. I'm not normally a nervous person, but um, I think I had almost had an anxiety attack in the middle of the night. I'm not 100% sure. Not had one before, so. But yeah, partly because, you know, the government announced me yesterday and John's still going to work today because um, he's a key worker. Um, but also, last night I was reading some stuff online and lots of people are saying that they reckon that those that are deemed vulnerable are going to be asked to do a further 12 months, um, further 12 weeks after the initial 12 weeks. Um, and that, you know, it's literally just going to be supermarkets open and things and it's like, how are we going to buy a cot? <laughs> Where's our baby going to sleep? Do you know what I mean? We need to get stuff for the baby and if everything is shut down what's our baby going to sleep in? I suppose we could co-sleep but I don't know and then that was it I just started panicking about the baby and obviously while the baby's in me everything's fine and safe because then in my mind it was like I was going back to work in, on the 13th of June and everything's going to be okay and yeah now I'm getting a bit panicked about you know, if this is still happening when the baby comes and we're not ready because everything's shut. Anyway, um, yeah, that's not a jolly way to start the video, but that's my, my truth for now. I'm going to give the puppy dogs their breakfast and I'm going to log on to my work computer and see what today brings. Change your plan. Our computer won't log on. Um, technically I don't start work till nine and the lads I work with they don't normally turn up till ten past um, possibly later if I'm not there to keep an eye on them um, so I've sent an email from my personal email into the office account asking for someone to ring me it looks like someone's knocked my plug or turned my machine off by mistake so I can't do any work so I'm gonna make myself some rice pudding for breakfast I think and that's my rice pudding. Um, you can be all fancy and cook it with sugar and cinnamon and the zest of something if you so wish. I haven't even put sugar in this. I've literally just put sultanas in. Um, skimmed milk, pudding rice. Just keep an eye on it. Put the raisins in for the last couple of minutes. There you go. I say if you like it sweeter, put some sugar on it. But I like it just with the sultanas. And that is half past one, which is lunchtime. Ooh, ooh. Um, it's been a rough morning. Because <laughs> um, of the announcements yesterday. Oh, hang on. First of all, my very nutritious lunch. Chicken and mushroom pot noodle. Yes, mate. Um, yeah. Because of the announcement yesterday, I've had about seven people refuse to move out, which I get. I get, but there's like knock-on effects, like telling the people who are due to move in that they can't move in. And that causes upset and telling the landlords that, that you know, what's going on. And most landlords are being very understanding about it because we're on a lockdown. Removal companies have closed down. It's kind of like... It's kind of obvious it was almost it's kind of, it's almost obvious it was gonna happen. Do you know what I mean? I had one landlord kick off. Because she doesn't like her tenants. And she wants to put the rent up, which she can't legally do, and she wants to do this and she wants to do that, and it's like there's nothing you can do, so you might as well let them stay and let them pay another month's rent. Do you know what I mean? Just don't in such a difficult time, I don't understand why some people have to make it hard. But yeah, hey ho, I have an hour, I'm going to eat my pot noodle, and I might have a snooze, because obviously 
been up, I think I said earlier, I've been up since half three, so I'm a bit pooty pooped. Hey guys, oh, <clears throat> hey guys, so I'm lying on the sofa. I gave up work today at 20 to 6, which is, you know, I only have to work till half five. I just have such a headache. I just. I think part of it is, I say, the fact that I've been up since half past three. And, yeah, I've spent my day dealing with people being very rude to me when all I'm trying to do is help them. But, yes, it's finished. I've turned the emails off. I can, they can wait till tomorrow. Oh, my goodness, such a day. And I can't stop rubbing my face. And I know, oh, darling, hey, little bubba. Oh, poor boy. I know you're not supposed to be rubbing your eyes and touching your face, but I just can't help myself. I'm so tired. I'm too tired. Oh. <laughs> um, John's going to try and get home a bit earlier tonight, which will be lovely. Um, but yeah. Pooped. Absolutely pooped. Um... But it's over for another day. I've got to tidy up this kitchen before I cook the tea. Oh, thank you. That one's giving me paw. Oh, oh, did you not want to show them your paw? Okay. He had given me paw. He just didn't want you to see. You're being bashful. <laughs> Silly bear. But yeah, I'm going to tidy up the kitchen. So it's ready to cook as soon as John's gone out of the shower. Flattering ankle. Oh, I'm too tired. Stop whinging, Katie, and shut up. Shush. Stop talking. You gotta stop now. And it's tea time. And tonight we've got venison grill steaks. Happy that I've got a few, another pack of these in the freezer. Uh, John really likes them. They're from Morrison's. We've got peas and sweet corn and some chunky chips. Hey guys, and that is me going to bed. Um, I've no idea what the time is. What time is it, Pickle? 9.50 <laughs> Rock and roll, but I have been awake since half three Half three? Half three Why? Because I just haven't got any sense um, We watched Celebrity Bake Off um, I had a mini twister I've taken my meds for the night We're still weaning off our IVF drugs But I'm also taking my vitamins and aspirin now But yeah, go to bed Do it all again tomorrow Bye, guys.